We had a question on the channel a while back about how to add an intro and an outro screen to your stream, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. We'll also cover some of the do's and don'ts and a couple tips and tricks to add to your stream, whether you're just getting started or you've already been streaming for a while. You'll need some sort of image that shows that you're starting soon or you're on the intro screen, and also a thanks for watching or outro screen. You can search for free versions of this stuff, but if you wanna create one of your own, you could use Photoshop, you could use PowerPoint, or you could even use free version of Google PowerPoint. I think it's called Google Slides, something along those lines. And you can just set up a background, put some imagery in, maybe just apply a flat color, add in some texts like starting soon, or stream starting soon, thanks for watching, anything like that. Throw in some of your social media handles. You could even throw in maybe your stream schedule as well. This saved out as a JPEG or .jpg is gonna be your intro and outro graphics on your stream. Next, we'll wanna open up OBS or Streamlabs OBS. These are the two streaming softwares we recommend, especially when you start out because they're totally free. In OBS, you've got three sections at the bottom. You've got your scenes, which is sort of like your displays or your layout, what you're gonna show on your stream. And inside of your scenes are sources. The sources are all the assets, whether they're images, video, music, media files, text overlays, anything like that that's gonna be inside of your scene or your layout. The last column there is your audio mixer, this is where you can control your audio levels of all your different audio sources so you can mute things, unmute things, and make sure you only have what you want to be heard at any given time on your stream. So to create an intro and an outro, you're gonna to wanna to look at the scenes section first. We're gonna to wanna to create two new scenes. One's gonna be the intro scene or the stream starting soon, and one's gonna be the outro or maybe the stream end or thanks for watching. You can name these whatever you want, whatever works for you. Now inside of these scenes, you're gonna to wanna to add a source. For instance, something as simple as an image file that's gonna show stream starting soon or stream end. You can add this through the plus icons by selecting the image in the dropdown and then finding your JPEG image and inserting it into your stream. Once you have that set up, you effectively have intro scenes, outro scenes, and probably already your gameplay scenes set up. Make sure that your audio is muted or your microphone is muted on this scene or it doesn't even exist in this scene so that when you're setting up and you just have this stream starting soon up for maybe five minutes, nobody can hear you. Unless of course you want them to hear you, then unmute it by all means. Now you might be wondering how do you get from one scene to another? It's as simple as clicking on it. So while you've got your stream going, all you have to do is mouse click onto that scene and it's gonna transition to whatever that scene is that you've clicked on. And speaking of transitions, another tip, on the far right side, there's transitions that you can select for all of your scenes. So if you select from the dropdown, you can choose between cut or fade, or even you can add some of your own like wipes or if you wanna get really fancy, like something that we have on our stream, you can add in video files that have transparency in them that show like a cool swipe transition that's branded and everything of your own. That's a little bit farther than where we wanna go in this video, but I think a nice fade transition can really add a lot to your stream. Kinda of shows you that you've upped your production level a little bit. Now, if you don't wanna use the mouse and try to click on things while you also have your controller in hand, you can actually set up shortcut keys on your keyboard or something we recommend and we actually created a video on it. The Stream Deck by Elgato allows you to set up all sorts of quick command keys and everything. We have an entire video on how to set that up on the channel. We'll link everything from a content streaming YouTube Elgato setup in the description down below so that you guys can go through if you're looking for more videos from us on how to set up your streams. That's pretty much it though. Once you have those scenes set up with your imagery on them and whatever audio sources, video sources, like your webcam, anything like that that you've sort of been creative with on those scenes, you've got your intro and outro set up. If you guys have any more questions on how to set things up, where to go, what programs to use, how to start streaming, make sure you hit us up in the comments down below. Hope this helped you guys. These are the exact softwares that we use here at Pacers Gaming to create our live streams and even record some of our YouTube content as well. With that being said, thanks for watching. 
Make sure you like and subscribe. Become a member if you haven't already. Go buy some of our merch in the team store. All these links are down in the description as well. From all of us here at Pacers Gaming, myself included, we'll see you next time. And if you're watching this on the day it came out before 7 p.m. Eastern, make sure you tune in to our guys playing against 76ers GC tonight. Hopefully we get that win. Got to get that dub. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.